Hey everybody, Kane here and welcome to Call of Dragons. So, in this video we are going to talk about one of the bosses and that is Thunder Rock. We are the only guild on our server that has cleared it on Elite Mode. Pretty much this boss is just a huge, huge DPS check as well as some coordination with your guild. So I have a recording from a couple of days ago since I was um, a little bit busy to get the video out earlier, but we're going to do it now. And there is a buff or buffs that you could use to make this particular boss a bit easier or more able to be done. One of those buffs is Legion Attack 7%. Now, as you can see, this buff appears right near the pit of the bird. But to get something like this, you will have to kill guards of the pit. Now, the guards, they look... Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if many people killed most of them. I think they killed from all of them, because it's just free rewards all around you don't necessarily spend anything yeah so many people kill them all the time pretty much what you have is just some army walking with like a slash or three slashes icon or stuff like that and once you kill them they drop a buff and this buff is probably one of the most important ones for this boss now there is another one and that's called legion march speed now that does not add damage but it's gonna help you walk around the pit a little bit easier because that's where coordination comes in you have to walk around the pit as a group and uh if you walk slowly if you don't walk as a group necessarily you could wipe your entire team so be mindful that uh, both of those buffs are very very important and very good but you can only have one of them at a time so you have to pick now if you're a you know a single person a buff like this is not going to do that much but if you have 40 people picking this buff is gonna do tremendous amounts of effectiveness in just clearing any boss whatsoever so you can just use this on any boss so let's hop on to the recording so uh, i have started recording as this particular um boss fight just started so as you can see we have selected a couple of team leaders on each side one person on the left has a moon aside to them uh, I have uh, assigned myself a son, so I'm one of the team leaders of the group. And you can see we kind of have to have around 20 people on each side. That is important. And uh, we have done this as for people to better follow others across the pit. So what happens is we first let our tank to do a little bit of damage to the boss and then we give the command for both of the groups to start damaging the boss in such a way the tank can get a little bit of aggro and uh, if you don't let the tank get a little bit of aggro pretty much the bird is just gonna run straight to one of your groups and likely this is gonna be a wipe or all of you just exit the pit so technically right now we're just full DPSing the boss. Like I said before, this is a DPS check. The faster you get the boss down, uh, the faster the boss ends. So, it started one of its effects uh, in terms of the elite version. And that is firing electric balls. Now, what we want to do is we want to walk to the middle to see uh, or during that time to see where he will fire a second one and then we will diagonally walk to another direction and then we will take no damage so as you can see we noticed it we slowly started walking but what we noticed is we kind of kind of started walking too late uh, but we noticed the boss turned into another direction so the only way we need to go is just diagonally to the bottom so we're walking and we're still walking by the way some people are kind of slow where the legion march speed would you know be pretty effective 
and then the boss uh, pushes you away. So those people who were slow, they're still taking damage. And that's a lot of damage lost from being able to do on the boss. So again, that is where the Legion Mars Speed would come in very clutch. So, um, we damaged around 800,000 HP and we entered into the next phase. And that is the boss spawns stones across the entire pit. Now, the goal to do here, even if we have this many people here, we don't pick up the stone, but we walk into the middle, we check where he fires the electric balls, and then we split up. Now, yes, yeah, some people would say, yeah, pick up the stone and stuff like that sometimes it doesn't even matter if you do that sometimes yes you can luck out and you can reduce a minute but you're gonna trade a decent portion of damage on your entire group so sometimes i'm not sure if that could be the best decision so we just go for the safest route move our groups to the middle we see that the bird fires uh, electric ball on the right on the left we call out one group goes to the bottom the other goes to the top and then the boss does another effect, and that is these white circles on three people. Now, if you do get this circle, you have like, uh, I guess, a red, um, I don't even know how to say, like a red screen on the top left and the top right. And I think a little bit of redness on the bottom of your screen. That means you have this debuff and you have to walk away from the water. What will happen if you're in the water is you're going to explode your entire team because the damage scales with your legions per uh, how many units in your legion you have. So from what I understand, it's 40% damage and archers take 80%, meaning if you have two debuffs with wide circles in one uh, pool of water, let's call it that, uh, you will one-shot every single archer in that river. One buff will likely 80% the archers. Two, or rather two debuffs, will one-shot it. Mages will still survive. Um, as they don't do a lot of damage, archers do a lot of damage, but archers also take a lot more damage. Keep that in mind. So we picked up the stones. We walk to the other direction. Since we're first, we kind of chose the right side. Uh, the other group is going to the left. Now again, uh, the boss uh, fires the electric balls. We're pretty much close to picking it up. And now the boss is going to do its uh, white circles again. So again, we call it out for people to exit the water. But one of the persons did not exit. And as you can see right now, the thunder proc. But see what happens after that boom did you see like 40k damage right there let's check again so um the person i do believe it's it was tigra but he was i think in a meeting at work so i mean it happens right it, it happens cannot really expect everybody to always be present uh, he did do like top five damage even with something like this but um, yeah, I mean, in real life happens, work is very important, as well as in real life is important, so cannot really blame him. So what happens is, boom, a huge proc of damage. Like, do you see, he took 45k damage, and a few people on the side took like 21, 28, 23, or that's 33, 28. Like, this debuff can literally just kill your entire attempt at this boss. So be mindful that those white circles have to go out of the water. That's very, very important because most of the losses that we have had on this particular boss is because people were not on Discord and they were not leaving the water. So they were literally one-shotting their entire group. And once that group loses enough people, you cannot even pick up stones to the, you know, for the boss to enter that, you know, DPS phase that the boss would have like minus defense and we would be able to just freely DPS for like 20 seconds. So as you can see, I moved back. Uh, some people just took free damage from the boss AOE. 
it happens but uh pretty much after you know that one phase uh, with the stones is just free dpsing on the boss uh i mean i would push 10 seconds forward but it's only 30 so we see uh, these electric balls again are at around 1 million now like i said before we should be walking forward right we should be walking forward straight into the boss but i mean i was kind of cocky I, I i kind of you know felt the thrill of actually kind of wanting you know to win this and i started walking diagonally to the bottom which was a huge mistake because the boss turned down to the bottom right and since people seen that i was walking you know diagonally to the bottom some of the people will still be going bottom like as you can see like this group i think it's like five six people they were diagonally walking bottom and then i started calling top and then we started moving top and people also started moving top some people did not make it some people didn't even exit the water and what happened was some people got pushed back down into the water and that's a lot of damage so that part was a little bit on my side i personally made it out out of the damage others were not you know easily able to get out of it so a portion of that again is is kind of my fault but we uh, have entered a boss the uh, rather the last phase of the boss not the dps phase yet we still have the stones now what happened here was the boss should have fired electric balls into the river but what happened was he skipped that and he did these thunders and we were like yo what is happening like like we didn't understand whether or not we should have went into the um river uh, sorry the pools of water and picked up the stones or, or what was happening and in the end we thought the boss literally just bugged out fully and and we just called out yeah let's pick the stones and we kind of wasted like 30 seconds there maybe more and then the boss returned to normal so what happened was we picked up some stones but uh the boss was firing electricity in, in you know one of the uh pools of water that uh we were picking up the stone three people exited the the pool of water with the debuff that is awesome pretty much this kind of feels like it is almost done we're just waiting for the electricity to stop it stopped we're picking up the stone and after this it's pretty much just a dps phase there will be nothing else so the boss is firing the uh, electric balls we're trying to pick it up quickly we're, we're saying just stay on it regardless of damage and then run to the middle we have you know the the debuffs we're telling people just go to the boss to the middle and just full-on dps so this uh during this phase after you finish the stones the boss uh, has like minus defense i believe so we do more damage so during this time do not walk around just do full-on damage full-on dps all you know artifact skills everything when that phase is over you walk a, a little bit further away from the boss because as you can see the boss is, is seeing you the boss is doing damage and um he still has a decent area damage and of course like this circle around the boss is gonna do like 20k damage if people don't move and uh i think most people moved out and we just said full-on dps from this point in time uh doesn't matter if the boss does any effects any you know abilities and he will do at the very end and we just said just full-on dps doesn't matter what happens we have to get the border as you can see nobody was moving out of the dps we were just full on dpsing and we managed to get it at 6 minutes and 12 seconds now the thing about that is we could have honestly got this boss in like 5 minutes and maybe 20 seconds uh but we didn't really understand what was happening at the last phase like the boss should have done the electric balls first but he didn't and we were just confused because it was like the first time in like seven attempts so yeah um aside from that we did manage it we are the first on the server to clear it and even a few days later we are the only ones on the server to have cleared it and this is not even you know the the strongest or the you know uh, hardest boss right so it, it's kind of questionable if people will be able to do the next ones as well 
But yeah, this is kind of fun, to be honest. And with uh, tier 3 and tier 2 archers, I'm, you know, top 6 DPS as well, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, that is how we did our Elite Thunder Rock. Do let me know in the comments down below if this has helped you out. If it did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.